Hello. Uh, I just realized that I should add some points to the last video about the uh, voiceover recording in the PowerPoint uh, and saving it. Well, uh, just let me open one of my PowerPoints here. When we want to do the voiceover, a PowerPoint may be too long to do that. For this purpose, we need to break down the uh, a PowerPoint to a smaller part to be able to record up to three to four, max five minutes for each of them. So in this case, you can just open a new PowerPoint uh, window and just go to the original and then I can just uh, copy, for example, the first slide here. We can copy more than one. It's depend on how much material you have in the slide and I can paste it here. And also I can go and keep source formatting to have exactly the same copy of, as the original. Of course, the first one, the first slide, uh, I can delete it. Now I have a PowerPoint with one slide or I can put two slides, uh, doesn't matter. But then I know that this two slides, I can do voiceover about uh, maximum five minutes. The problem is more than five minutes, the file size will be really big. If I want to do, just let me close the original. And now I have this file. I can save this file and put a new name on this, let's say, part one and then I can record it on the desktop or I can record it on the uh, OneDrive. It's up to you. I prefer to record it on the desktop because it takes less time and I can just take a backup later on the OneDrive or as you know you can put a automatic backup on the OneDrive that uh, will happen uh, automatically if you do something on the desktop. So if you have the new PowerPoint here in one slide, then I can go to the slideshow and I start to recording the slideshow. Then I can start to talk over and show the different parts and complete my PowerPoint show. So in this case, I have uh, this uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. I can just uh, end show and then I have modified uh, part one as voiceover PowerPoint. If I want to watch it, I can just play from start and it will show what I did. But we did it in the previous uh, uh, video. But here it's important to save it. We go to the file and we have two options. One of them is save as, that if you do the save as, then you can do as other format. The first format, which is very useful, is PowerPoint Show, which is come with the uh, PPSX, as you see here. And then I can save it as a PowerPoint Show. So now, uh, if I look at here, I have two files. Part 1, PPTX, which is the one that I had, and Part 1, PPSX, that will be a PowerPoint Show. I just uh, the run the PowerPoint show to sh uh, the, and then you can see how it will look. Over and show the different parts and complete my PowerPoint show. So in this case, I have uh, this uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. I can just uh, Yes, so you, you uh, realize how we can do it. And the other way to do that is go to the uh, file and use the export uh, command. And here you can export it. The default for the export command is PDF, but you should choose even MP4 or the movie, MOV. If you do that, then you are going to have this file as a movie file. And uh, when you are recording, you can also choose the uh, quality and uh, you can use the internet quality, which is make a smaller file and that's better. And then you can export it. 
And as you see, an icon will appear here. And this icon, which is here, is not ready yet. Uh, you should be patient until this movie is uh, built up. And then you have two choices. You can go to the canvas and to the part that you want to put the video. And then here you can add the PowerPoint, the presentation as PowerPoint that you know just in one of the modules, you can add uh, a plus, for example, we can go here and I can just uh, do the uh, ready here to editing and then I can add anything that I want here. I can use the files and uh, last stop new field and then I can choose the file and in my desktop, I can go and choose the PPSX, for example, and then this is the show. But if you want to do the movie, use the movie, I think the best way is you have your own YouTube uh, channel that is free and you can open it and then you can uh, upload the video that you have on the desktop and it just, uh, yeah, select file and then I can ch just uh, use the movie part one and upload it. And then the advantage is you can just share it with a link. So this is the two ways that you can record it. If there is any question, please send me uh, an email or you can just contact me and then uh, we can discuss about how to do it uh, later. Thank you.